Hey guys, welcome back to Sipping Tea with TJ. I hope you guys have had an amazing day. Thank you for clicking on this video. I really do appreciate it. Before you leave, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, thumbs up the video, tap that notification bell. Now let's get into sipping this tea. So we we talking about big live today, yes. So I scrolled and I was scrolling through the YouTube streets and I landed on one of her lives. And in her live, she's accusing Gerard of assaulting her. Gerard came the weekend to pick up the kids. I guess this is his weekend. Took the kids out. They looked like they had a good time. She comes on live and she's saying that he assaulted her. She said that Nisha was in the car too. So my question is, if he assaulted you. Why are you on live and not on the phone with the police? I'm just saying. She always said how he used to assault her. He used to do this. He used to do that. So, even with the last situation when he came to get the kids for the summer. If you're feeling threatened. If you're feeling scared. If this man's always putting his hands on you. Why do you go alone? Why not take someone? And then to say, oh, Nisha. She, you know, talking bad about Nisha. Because she, she didn't do anything. Let me tell y'all something. And this is just my opinion. I don't believe that man assaulted her. That's my thoughts. That is my opinion. Because I feel like the type of person she is, she don't want that man having 50-50 custody with her. So by any means necessary, she's going to find a way for that man not to be able to have her children. She would have got on that telephone and she would have called them police and said that that man assaulted her. But she said she didn't. She's just going to document it. Document it for what? The court's? No, you call the police, you tell them that he assaulted you, and let the police deal with them. I don't believe he assaulted her. If he did, then he should get what he deserved. But I hope she's not doing this just to get them kids away from, away from him. I hope not. I mean, of course she accused him. Why is he still angry? Why is he still, he's so, still so angry with me? Because you sit on live and you talk about him constantly, bad about him all day. What do you mean why is he still angry? You, she wants people to believe that he's still angry because he still wants her. Man, he looks like he's living a wonderful life over there. Don't nobody believe Gerard wants your ass, okay, sis? But he's angry because every time you turn on a video or a live, you say something negative and bad about him. Like you called him a coward because you said he hit you and, 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 and walked off so fast or left so fast. I'm sorry. I don't believe he hit her, but let's check out what Big Live was talking about i'm sick of the bullshit like i said in my last live i'm going to get respect period um there doesn't have to be communication there doesn't have to be friendship there doesn't have to be anything of any sort but assaulting me while i'm pregnant is a humongous no no that's just not gonna happen it's just fuck even just being pregnant me you assaulting me is not going to happen any longer and then it, it going unreported that's not happening either i don't understand i don't understand why there's so much energy i mean i do understand i told you guys i'm co-parenting with a real life troll i already told you this but to take it all the way to assault and i don't even for what for what? What are you so, what are, what, what is there to be so angry about? Like, what are you so angry about? I didn't even want to speak to you today. I was good. I was good. Obviously, I already understood from last time. There's no communication. But assaulting me? Mm-mm. See, that shit was, that shit was happening and I didn't, I let it, I let it slide because I was with you, because I was with the person. And I don't know. I just let it slide. I didn't want him to get in trouble. But now that we're not together anymore and you still feel like you can assault me and disrespect me <laughs> is insane. Insane. And why so much anger? Why so much hostility? And I guess he didn't think I was going to come back. Like, like, that's another thing. Like, I don't understand. Oh, trust me. Everything... I, I reported it. There was cameras. We were in the fucking parking lot of the police station. I was in the parking lot of the police station. 
But once again, people want to take sides and people want to fucking ride for that fucking weirdo. Fine, do what you want to do. Do what you want to do. I don't care. I don't. I don't care about that type of stuff. But first of all, I'm being made to. I'm being. It's like, well, you look at. I don't even care about this type of shit. Because the people who make videos about me, you guys have like a thousand views, two thousand views. Like, really, none of my people really see those dumbass videos. So I don't really care. And obviously, a bitch can't make a check unless she makes up some lies and rumors about me. But to go to the extent and make me look like something I'm not, like I'm this jealous, bitter, scorned woman, when it's like I don't care anymore. I don't care anymore. I don't want nothing to do with you. I'm just trying to co-parent. That's it. And I'm trying to co-parent the right way, whatever way we can. Because you're, because the person that I'm co-parenting with is so whacked out of their mind. Like, and then you do that, and then they do this in front of my children. You assault me again in front of my children. And I'm sick of it, you guys. I'm sick of it. I'm so sick of it. And I'm not trying. I'm crying because I'm emotional right now. And, like, I'm just sick of it. Like, I left this person. I don't want nothing to do with this person anymore. I just want respect. And it's, like, it's so hard to just get what I am, just, what I'm owed. I'm owed respect. And if you hate me so much or you have pent-up aggressive feelings, whatever the hell kind of weird shit is going on in here, and you can't speak to me because that's how you feel inside, then just don't speak to me. You don't speak to me, I won't speak to you. I'll respect that. When I dropped off my kids, I just wanted to know, I didn't want the secrecy. I'm sick of the secrecy when it comes to my kids. It's, it's unnecessary. But now you're assaulting me. Any type of sneaky, backhanded, weird ass way, you can do it. And you think you're gonna get away with this shit and you're not going to anymore anymore <sighs> anyway i just wanted to come and document this and it's like at this point i hope the judge does see my videos i hope the judge does see the shit that i go through with this person that i just simply want to co-parent with that's it that's it you guys and that's all and bitches are trying to make it out like i give a fuck about anything that's going on with him i don't care i don't care it's actually it's so fucked up because it's the other way around he's so angry with me he's so aggressive he's so but it's like you have your whole life over there why are you still why are you still having this aggression towards me i don't have nothing to do with you no because after he assaulted me he drove off so quickly we're dealing with a coward, okay? A person who will smack me, who has smacked me, and turned around after he smacked me and said, oh, I didn't smack you. What are you talking about? I didn't do that to you. You're making it up in your head. I already told you guys this. I've already explained this to you, what the shit that I've gone through. And people wanna say I'm a liar and I'm this. I don't have to lie on somebody. Everything that happened today happened and it happened in front of my children. No, they didn't chase him because I had to go inside the the officers that seen it outside. <sighs> There's two office. Okay, it's a whole long story. Anyway, they got written up as well. I talked to the sergeant and I talked to another officer. The paramedic. It was a whole thing. <sighs> but they have to watch the tapes. They have to see exactly what happened. But of course, see he hits he he assaults me. And he thinks nobody can see. And I guess nobody did see outside because he did it inside of my car. And I get out screaming and cussing him out because how dare you once again assault me. I'm pissed off at this point. Like, keep your fucking hands to yourself. Stop trying to put your hands on me or stop trying to hurt me, like physically. So of course I get out screaming. I guess he didn't expect me to do that, but I'm gonna do that every single time. Like, and he had the nerve to fucking say it when I was screaming and cussing him out. He had the nerve to say, don't do this in front of the kids. Don't do this in front of the kids. You just assaulted me in front of my kids. My kids saw what you just did to me. But don't scream at you now. Oh my gosh. And I went there. I should have fucking recorded it. I told myself I should go live. But I'm trying not to be messy. I'm trying not to do this whole thing. 
I didn't even really want to come live and explain this. Because all this does is give stupid bitches that have no content, that make me their content. All this does is give them content. And all this does is put people in our business. But I am sick of it. And that's why I always recorded him doing dumb shit. That's why... I I came on YouTube and I started telling my story because I felt like I was always suffering in silence. I had nobody. But when I came and I told my story, and I guess it was very confusing to people because people were like, well, you're still with him. You're still with him. Why are you with him if he's doing this, st this stuff to you? Because you stay with your abuser. Sometimes you do that because you don't know anything else. And you just stay with them. And that's what I did, stupidly. But I'm not dealing with this shit no more. I'm not dealing with this shit no more.